Earlier today, we caught up with the leading Democratic and Republican candidates for governor. Sarah Madison joins us with that. Sarah? Joe, while thousands already voted early by mail or walk-in, it did not stop Governor David Ige and gubernatorial candidates Colleen Hanabusa and Andrea Tupola to wake up early for that final campaign push. Democrat Governor David Ige is running for his second term and tells us he's excited to see his supporters grow in number. It's great to see the momentum change. You know, four to six weeks ago, you could see things moving, and uh, we feel really good about where we're at. I just really want to thank um, the voters and the people of Hawaii. I know that this has gotten to be kind of an ugly campaign because of some of the super PACs, and I just really want to thank them for being patient. Governor Ige's biggest opponent, Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa, who's pushing for change. And in my particular situation here, what it's been is that people have asked me to come home. They don't like the way the state's going. You know, I just want to say mahalo and thank you throughout the whole state. The reception we've gotten from all the people have been really wonderful. In the Republican Party, State Representative Andrea Tapola has a strong presence in the Leeward Coast, so she's been busy meeting with other communities. So I'm glad that they're going to be able to have a choice in the general election and not have to choose a party line, but actually look at the person, look at the candidate, get to know what they're about, and really vote based on the, the person. And I kind of wanted to treat the primary election like a fire drill, make sure we have everything in place, make sure we can evaluate, go back, and get better at it. These candidates, along with many others, have been out and about, but it's just getting started and the real excitement begins. Stay with us for our full and up-to-date coverage on the primary election on air and online. Joe.